What's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Today's video is going to be all about the arena merge, but first I want to just say if you guys haven't seen my last video I posted yesterday, that is a solo money glitch that's currently working. We haven't had one in a little bit, so I'll leave that video link down in the pinned comment and description for you guys to check out. Now, this arena merge, I just got to say I know there's a lot of methods out there for, you know, merging the vehicles and uh, this glitch is highly highly sensitive to vehicle types you know depending on what vehicle you're actually putting into the arena and uh, you're gonna see what I mean here in a little bit you know once we get started but in my opinion this new merge is not as much fun as the old one you can't just you know keep putting whatever cars in there you want willy-nilly and merge them all you know it's not like that okay it's definitely it's gonna take a lot more work uh, if you guys have better suggestions on what I was doing in the video put them down in the comment section I'm always happy to hear okay now, what you're going to need for this glitch is you want to go ahead and spawn in your bunker. That will give you the best chance of hitting this. This works on Xbox One and PS4. Public or private session doesn't really matter. Uh, you need an arena workshop, about $300,000, you know, startup money. You only have to spend that once. Uh, a donor card to give the mods. I recommend highly buying a Nag Nagasaki Outlaw. Uh, load up on beer and cigs and an oppressor or CEO buzzard to do the parachute glitch. Okay, so those are the main requirements of what you're going to need to do this. Now, what you see me doing here, you will only need to do once, okay? Buy this vehicle right here, the FCR 1000. It's the cheapest Benny's bike, I think. And uh, you just want to go ahead and buy that into your arena. And uh, there you go. Once you've done that, that is the only time you ever have to do that, okay? So I'm going to go outside right now, and this is pretty much where you would start if you're in a new session, you know, and you're trying to do the arena merge. This is where you would start because you've already bought the bike. So we're going to do the parachute glitch real quick, and I'm going to do it with an oppressor. And as you can see, I just like to have nothing on my back. I took my parachute off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hop onto my oppressor or your buzzard if you're using that. Open up your interaction menu, go to style, parachute. You should be hovering over off. If it's grayed out, that's okay too. Now, while you're hovering over off, step off of the vehicle, go ahead and toggle to on the parachute and then hop back onto your vehicle. Once you've done that, you can back out of the menu and take your buzzard or your oppressor, go up in the air and go up a safe distance to be able to jump and parachute down to the ground. All right. And that's really all you're doing. Just open up the parachute and just land safely. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in as a, as a CEO now. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it right here. You can wait. You know, I just wanted to do it right there. But uh, yeah, once you go to management style and the CEO, you should be able to just flick back and forth, left, right, left, right, and you should have unlimited parachutes, okay? And that's how you set up to do the parachute glitch. Okay, it's really, really simple. So once you've done that, you can actually go into your arena and we can get started with the actual arena merge. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is glitching out the garage. Now, we're not using a Fagio, but it is a bike and it is possible. Now, that that's the Nagasaki Outlaw that you're going to see we need a little bit later on once we've glitched the garage out. Now, this is the FCR 1000. This is the Benny's bike that we bought. This is what we're starting with instead of the Fagio to glitch out the garage. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit right D-pad to go into the mod shop. And once we're in here, this is where you would want to upgrade it to the Benny's version. Okay, do the Benny's upgrade. As you can see, I don't need to do it. I've done it already, which is proof that you only need to do it once. Okay, but if you haven't upgraded this bike to the Benny's version, you would do that now. So go ahead and exit the vehicle. And I'm just showing you right here that the vehicle's bricked. You know, you can't move it, all right? The Fagio, we used to be able to just move it by walking into it. Not possible anymore like that. What you have to do now is mod the vehicle, go to the bodywork, go to the fuel tanks, and just switch the fuel tank. Once you switch the fuel tank, you'll actually be able to push the bike, believe it or not. That's the only change you need to make after you've upgraded it to the Benny's version. The fuel tank will unbrick it every time. So go to the other side and drop some beer bottles you know just take a sip of them I think it's like two glugs and you drink them and they'll drop so drop a couple of beers right there by the back tire and smoke a cigarette while running into the bike and you should push it and it should be knocked over fairly simple or simply you know like very easily it's just gonna get knocked over so here's the tricky part pushing this bike is definitely harder than pushing the Fagio 
but it just takes a little bit of experience. So as you can see, you can push it like that for some time, but then all of a sudden you'll walk over it. And uh, I've noticed that when the front tire's sticking up, if you just kind of hit the front tire and then go back to the seats, you can kind of walk into it and, uh, and fix it up. Now, as you can see, it's taken me a little bit here, but eventually I'll actually get a little bit of steam going. And as you can see, there we go. I'm getting it pushed and I've pushed it. Remember, we want to push it just outside the garage, which is that line right there. Okay, so just outside the garage. So I'm going to get into it and that's what you want. You only want the right D-pad option. If you have the right D-pad option, you're good. If you have the left and right D-pad, you still need to push it farther out of the garage. But uh, yeah, I wanted to push the, uh, you know, when I get my next vehicle in here, I wanted to actually get this in position to where this could be pushed in and I don't have to do any more work. So that's why we do the parachute glitch. You see the parachute glitch, you can actually move the vehicle a little bit if you need to adjust it. Okay, so that's the good thing about having the parachute glitch on hand. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to, you know, make the bike a little bit more horizontal so that it can get pushed in when I bring in the next vehicle. That's all I'm doing here. Okay, I already had the right D-pad option. As you can see right here, I still have only the right D-pad. That's what you want. All right. So I've set that up. This is where we're going to actually get the Nagasaki Outlaw. This is specific. You want to go in with this vehicle first. Okay. So hit right D-pad and unfortunately it just went like straight through the bike and it didn't push it in. That's okay. But this needs to be the first vehicle you put in here and you're going to see why. Okay. At least in my experience, what happens to me. Okay. And I'll explain that once again, just in a second. So first we're going to glitch out the garage. Now, once we have the first vehicle in there, now we want to push this bike into the mod shop. And that's where the parachute glitch once again comes in hand because you can't just run into it like we did when we were in the mod shop. So doing this with the parachutes, just scrolling left, right, left, right, left, right. Eventually you will push the bike all the way and you can even knock it over as you can see right there. Uh, so that's another way to knock over the bike too. But I want to get this into the mod shop to have both the left and right D-pad option. And that's what I have right now. See that in the top left, left and right D-pad option. So what we're going to do now is simply just press left D-pad had to return to storage the garage is already glitched we have two vehicles in the garage that's that's how you glitch it out okay so now that we've glitched out the garage uh and we had both d-pad options I'm going to return that vehicle like you see me here, and I just want to show you what the Nagasaki Outlaw does, okay, and why we need to do it. So I'm just going to bring in this Cerberus and show you how this gets set up. You see that? It just goes straight to the top of it. And believe it or not, doing that, just doing that little thing, bringing the Nagasaki Outlaw in there and possibly doing the Cerberus part will avoid this, okay? This right here is what used to happen to me when I would glitch out the garage and just try to bring in two cars right off the bat, okay? Watch what happens. Now the car is going in and then all of a sudden, I might be at the mod menu real quick, but eventually it would just push me under the map and I'll land like this, okay? And that would happen every time after I glitched out the garage. Doing the part with the Nagasaki Outlaw and the Cerberus, that's what avoids that, okay? And I think it's more the Nagasaki Outlaw that does that. But yeah, that's why I do that part and that's why I need that vehicle. So watch now when I bring in this Reaper, which is my donor car. Okay, this is the donor car. This is the, the vehicle that I want to put the mods over on that F1 car. Okay, so I'm gonna enter the mod shop with the right D-pad. And once we get in here, it won't push me under the map. You see that? It just kind of wedges the cars in weird ways, but you will be able to merge. So now the name of the game is once you have gotten your donor car in here, uh, you want to get the Nagasaki out and you want to bring in the car that you want to actually receive the mods. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm going to drive the Nagasaki outlaw out. I think it's left D-pad to return to storage. Once I've done that, I'm going to run over and I'm actually going to get into my F1 car. All right. It's this one right here. Uh, now, what I want to do is I want to bring, I want to put, this already has F1s, that's nothing special, but I want to have pure whites on this F1 and uh, on the F1s and modded paint. That's why I want to merge from that Reaper, okay? So I'm going to press right D-pad to drive in, and as you can see, I get wedged like this. Now that is not what you want. What you want is for the receiving car 
to be able to actually walk into, okay? I'm talking open up the door and everything, and you wanna break the door on the car receiving the mods. Now, in this case, it's my F1 car that's receiving the mods, so I don't need to break the door, okay? It has no door, we'll be able to do it. But in your case, if you are merging onto a vehicle that has doors, which is most of them, then that vehicle, you'll need to open the door and drive in and out of the mod shop to break it off, okay? And once it's broken off, it still needs to be in, in a position where you can walk into it and not teleport all right so what you see me doing right here is just simply driving these vehicles in and out in and out just so that i can get them into a good position okay which they still haven't been remember i said in the beginning of the video this glitch is tedious this glitch can take a while uh so all i'm trying to do is get positioning for these vehicles so i'm going to get into the reaper now and i'm going to drive the reaper out and as you can see, I've just been driving, you know, one after another, just trying to get them in the right positioning and bringing them back into the mod shop. So once we're bringing the Reaper back in here, this is the turning point. Check this out. I was able to get it like weirdly glitched out on top like that and leaning over to the right, which is good because we're going to need the driver's side door. So I'm thinking, OK, I'm going to leave the Reaper in that position. I'm going to go grab my F1 car. I'm going to drive it out and actually drive it back in. And hopefully I'll be able to simply walk into the vehicle. OK, in your case, remember, the door has got to be broken and you got to be able to walk into your car. And check this out. So we've spawned in. And if I exit the vehicle, I can simply just walk out. OK, that's what we want. You want to be able to just walk out of your vehicle like that. OK, and the door has to be broken for it to work. And I don't have any doors, but that is what you're aiming for to be able to merge vehicles. OK, so what I'm going to do right here is go into my donor car, which is the car that's giving the mods. I'm going to hit right D-pad to modify so that I'm on the mod menu. And now this is the vehicle that will be donating its mods just by doing that. OK, now. I'm going to go over to the F1 car and I'm going to get in position to actually walk into it. Now, this is the glitch. Go call Martin, Simeon or Gerald to get one of those jobs handy. OK, once you've got one of those jobs handy, you want to sit there at the point where you're at the check mark and you just have to check for it to actually, you know, launch up. So once we are at this position, I'm going to get ready to walk into the car, open up my phone. I'm going to hover over one of these jobs when we're at the check mark like that. I'm going to press Y or triangle to get in the vehicle. I'm going to then do the X pause trick. You're going to hear a ding for the job right before you sit down in the seat. You want to press pause again and spam left on the D pad. OK, I know that sounds like a lot, but that's what I just did there. And I actually failed. OK, I just got in the car. The job loaded normal. I'm just going to back out of it. I'm still here in the garage. So now fast motion. This is how you hit it. OK, get ready to hover over that Simeon Gerald or Martin job. And here we go. I'm going to press triangle to get in X pause. I heard the ding. Press pause again. Spam left D pad. And that's how you merge. OK, if you did it successfully, you will see it merge and go into the spot and you'll launch into the job. You just want to back out of that job. And as you can see right here, I've done the merge. OK, it's actually glitched off a bunch of the parts. But watch this. You press right D pad to go back in and all the parts are back. So, yeah, and it's actually like frozen. You see this animation going back into the, you know, arena workshop. It's really, really odd. So, yeah, the, the arena merge right now is totally broken. It's it's really, really weird. But uh, yeah, once you've merged successfully with the vehicles that you want, you just want to mod something on the vehicle that just received the mods so that it can stick. OK, you just need to put anything on it. Uh, I changed a couple things, put a livery on it, and this is the end result. All right. Ended up being a pretty good looking car uh, i can't wait to use this in races but yeah that is the current merge glitch in its state once again if you guys have better methods or ways to actually get the cars working and looking you know in, in a good spot so that you can do the merge successfully let me know down in the comment section and uh yeah we can try to help everybody out doing this merge because it's uh it's a pain for sure all right but yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Uh, turn on post notifications, all of you guys, so you're notified the second I post any sort of video or content on the channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Go follow me on Twitch for future live streams. And also, once again, I have a few PS5 or PS4 <laughs> accounts, sorry, in my possession uh, that I'm currently still working on. If anybody has any interest in some high level accounts, and I mean high level by uh, actually a lot of stuff on them and uh, really valuable stuff you know let me know follow me on twitter and message me over there if you guys have any questions on that
Peace out and have a good night.